Yeah. Annie, you're almost ready. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> no pressure. Lorraine, you ready? Yeah. Okay. I am ready. The kitchen counter does not look like it's ready because we're building new cabinets over there. So everything was taken off the old cabinets and put on the table, but that's all right. What are you doing? Taking cat food? Yeah. Are you hungry? I'll buy you a snack. No. Oh, it's not for you? Okay. Beauty, we gotta go. You'll be okay. Give me a pop. No, you're busy. Okay. So, honey, just to let you know, after you slept in, your alarm on your phone is still going off. Oh. An hour later. That's good. Need, At least yeah, it works, kind of. Yeah, Not helpful though. Lorraine, you ready? Yeah. Jenny, you ready? Yeah. Honey. Yeah, I'm not awake. <laughs> okay, you don't need to be awake. You're the co-pilot anyway, so. Okay. What? You you don't need to be awake to be a co-pilot. <laughs> Because I know how you are with directions even when you are awake, so I'd rather you be sleeping. I coffee. I know, I know. Poor Filipina. Beautiful morning for a drive in the Philippines. Okay, Rabika? Okay, we are here at the Bulado shipping port. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. My wife says I'm saying it correctly to buy tickets for the ferry so we can go across to Cebu. So it's a lot easier for us to drive one hour north, buy the tickets to this ferry, and then just cross right over to Cebu and drive to the city, versus driving two hours south down to Dumaguete, then crossing, and then having to still drive two hours back north. It just ends up adding four or five hours of traveling, plus that port is twice as busy as this one, probably five times busier. So this is really smooth for us. Less than an hour drive from our house, so we like it. Mayang buntag! Mayang buntag, sir! Thank you! Okay, so I just made sure to throw up the schedule for anyone that's curious. Uh, 9 a.m., 1 a.m., or sorry, 1 p.m., and then there was another time in the afternoon, I don't remember it. Uh, we usually prefer the 9 a.m. heading over to Cebu because we can avoid Cebu traffic because then we're there at lunchtime. Uh, if we go... Salamat! Welcome! If we take the 11 a.m., we'll land in Cebu at 12, 12.30, and then by the time we get into Cebu City, we're hitting the worst traffic time, so we like to avoid that. And it's easy to get over here at 9 a.m. So ticket costs for all four of us came out to 1.9, so 1,900 peso. I'll throw the exchange rate up on the screens, but that's for four passengers and a vehicle to go from one island to another. A lot cheaper than flying and a lot more fun. Hello. And as you can tell, another big reason why I would like this port, and a lot of people do, is it's very small and easy to access. When we go to Dumaguete, long lines, very hard to get anything, hard to park, a lot of traffic, just uh, rather frustrating. But over here, this is really smooth. Walk in, buy a ticket, walk out, get in the car, and now we're gonna head over to Cebu, so. Um, hey, you all right? Oh, uh, you got payment? Perfect timing, we just pulled up and they're offloading the boat right now and then we will get on in a couple minutes and it's a beautiful area. So we pretty for you. You're always pretty, you sleep pretty. Really? Yep. How do I look? When you sleep? It's not pretty, it's just no, I don't do that. Oh, Honey, okay. I'm a woman. I'm not complaining. I like lipstick. <laughs> I know where right. you are. <laughs> okay. You think we have coffee? What? I need energy. Ready? Yeah. All right, now we need a snack. She needs some coffee, so she's nice to me. I'm nice even without coffee. Yes, but you'll be nicer with coffee. Nicer. <laughs> Nicest, yes, okay. This is why we prefer the ferries over flying any day and waiting at airports.
beautiful view, very relaxing on here. Of course, she's always ready, right? Always, always ready. Always ready. Even at 6.30 when I went up there this morning, you were supposed to get up at 6, right? You were ready though. I'm awake at 6 and I just... You fell like, back to sleep. No! I'm that doesn't mean you are ready. That means you fell back to sleep. I'm sleeping at We are now here in Cebu. Not near the city, <laughs> Cebu, but we are on our way there two and a half hours. Cebu City! Cebu City, two and a half hour drive from this port. Uh, and as you could tell by our drive so far, honey, you gotta buckle up. Okay, thank you. Uh, what? So hard being married to a Filipino. Um, anyways, as you can tell by going to this port, it's a lot easier than going down to the Dumaguete port, which is very hectic. And it would take us twice as long to get there, so it saved us a lot, a lot of driving and a lot of time so far. Yep, I agree. Yep, you agree. Um, you, although usually she's sleeping, so she doesn't actually know how long it takes. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the hotel has a small mistake. That's okay. We're going to make the best of it. They only have one of the rooms ready, not the second one. So we need something to do for a little bit. So we're just going to go to the movies and I think eventually at some point. <laughs> Lorraine, you ate your burger? You want one more? You sure? You can eat one more. Just one. All right. Come on, honey, you can do it. Of course. All right, so we had a first great night here, or first night here was great, I should say. I said it backwards. And my wife got up early, went to the gym. <laughs> oh no, wait, you slept in. I got up early and went to the gym. It didn't wake me up for gym. I didn't wake you up? So I I'm did. supposed to wake you up? Yeah, because I have a husband now. You're my alarm clock. <laughs> I don't think this is fair. That's not fair. Like the rooster. Hard the life rooster. for a Filipina. Rooster in the way in the ordinary way. That's our alarm clock. I'm sorry guys, I'm not yet fully awake, but I'm trying. She's saying she didn't wake up because there's no rooster, so she's a Filipina. She's used to a rooster waking up, so. Okay, we're gonna get downstairs and eat some breakfast and then enjoy our first day here. Everyone hungry? Yeah. All this food and you go for the white rice first. Oh yeah. <laughs> All this food and the rice first. Okay. You should do your I don't understand. You should do the dinner. You're okay? Okay, Rebecca? Okay, Rebecca. You can eat the smoke. I don't know if this table's big enough. <laughs> You're okay? You're wrong? Yep. Yeah. You're okay? Yeah. Honey? Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. Plenty of protein. Got some healthy carbs. Alright, let's eat. Okay, so YouTube says to embrace problems and difficulties. So that's what I am doing. This is the definition of it. Up, oh, oh, grab driver, drivers here. My key fob just died for my car. So the alarm went off three times in the parking garage and we can't get out. <laughs> so we are now going to take a grab over to the mall and get a key fob battery. Otherwise we're stuck. And <laughs> kids wanted to see SM Seaside Mall anyway. So might as well just head over there since now, well, we kind of have to, we don't have a key. So we are gonna head over to the mall and continue to enjoy our day. And it's just a key battery, no big deal. Honey, you ready? Oh yeah, the grab is waiting. The grab is waiting? Oh. All right, let's go. Everyone's okay? Yeah. It's 
Okay, you're paying now? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Next time I'll do it. You should see their faces, it's hilarious. All right, these nice gentlemen over here put a new battery in my key fob so I can now get into my car, which will be great. And we found a bowling alley here, so it looks like we're gonna go have fun. Right? What? Right? What did you say? We're going bowling. Oh, yeah. Bowling Alley had a couple hour wait, so we decided to do some virtual reality video games in the meantime. So the two little kids, both little girls, are gonna get in there and fight some zombies in virtual reality, which I convinced them that they were friendly zombies, just because this is going to be very entertaining. I have to say I just had more fun in the virtual reality place than I've ever had. Uh, me and my wife have done virtual reality multiple times in different places in the US and in here we didn't even play. Neither my wife or I did but we just had the kids play and just watching them was, was priceless. It was so entertaining watching them have fun because they've never experienced it. So a lot more fun to watch other people smile than it is when making yourself smile. So I guess you end up smiling in, in return to doing something nice. Yes, we are no longer stuck at the hotel, <laughs> which is good news. All right, so I'm gonna do my favorite thing in the whole world, which is to head over at the mall, being slightly sarcastic, of course, but this is about the kids. It's not really about me or even her for that matter, but anyways, they're little girls, so we asked them where they wanna go. Naturally, they wanna to go to the mall, walk around. So we'll uh, grab some lunch, we'll have some fun, and we'll make the best out of it. Honey, you're almost ready? Ready, just coming. Okay. So I told her earlier, she asked where we were going for lunch, and I said, if you look sexy, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. If you don't, I'll bring you McDonald's. So apparently, now she gets I'm to pick okay lunch. Honey. Yeah, I know. You actually really like the French fries. So <laughs> that, if I say Jollibee, you're like, ooh, I love Jollibee. I'm like, oh, that cheaper backfired. And enjoy it. <laughs> it's not healthy though, but it's cheaper. It is cheaper. I like it. Yep. All right, you ready? Of course. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna use my money there. No? Yeah. So I'm paying? Of course! Okay. It's your job. Oh, that's my well, job. Sexy for you, so... Okay. You need to pay. Alright, well I'm not gonna tell everyone what your job is, so... 
Hey! Oh! Ah, I scared you. You're okay. It's good for you. Let's go. Lorraine, we're missing one child. <laughs> oh, a Filipina that's late. I'm shocked. First time for everything. Hey, Mom, good afternoon. Mom, good good afternoon. It is busy here. Are you hungry? You're hungry? You? Don't be a perv. I'm asking about food. I know what you're thinking. Oh, yummy. That's bigger than you. Oh, salamat. Jenny, that's okay? Okay, Rebecca? I'm impressed. You ate that whole burger. It was the size of your head. You want one more burger? One more? One? No? Okay. Oh, the clown? Yeah. Oh, um, Jack in the Box or something? I don't know. I don't watch horror movies. Ready? Yep. This place is busy. There's the parking lot for the cars, and the parking lot for the scooters is even larger because we're in the Philippines. Yes, honey. Oh, yeah. No, it's too big for you. Yeah, but you'll crash. You'll crash, I know you will. Yeah, that's a good point. If you're gonna crash, it might as well be someone else's scooter. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Philippines, walking street. How much for a good time? How much for a good time? Oh, then get in the car. What hotel you stay? Huh? What hotel did you stay? I don't remember. Now I'm tired. All right, let's go. Is it a nice hotel? Yeah, it's all right. I pay by the hour. Ayala. Honey, you're going to carry the food for me? Yes. It's 11 p.m., guys. We haven't eaten yet. And the kid is still inside the house. The car. It is 11 p.m. Like my wife just stated, I almost walked into a chain. Uh, kids fell asleep in the car, they had so much fun, a lot of energy running around, and yeah, no, she's really sleeping in the car. Hey, kids. Anyway, so we got to take out food, we're tired, we got in like 45 million steps today, so we're going to go eat and relax. Right, honey? Right. Right. I just realized the microphone's aiming that way, so I don't know how this is going to sound.